New noob, I've heard you're willing to best any animal or dinosaur that has ever existed. Are you up to the challenge? I will suck off every man, woman, and child if it gets me to my end goal. Excellent. Dino champion. That's right. We're accepting all challengers, but we've specifically challenged Noob Noob to take on the 12 most dangerous dinosaurs I of all time. Swallow the competition here. So what we're going to do is take a look at these dinosaurs and find out just how powerful man or beast is. Shall we go forward? I'm a little scared, but excited. Oh my gosh. So apparently, according to the insider, these are the 12 most dangerous dinosaurs of all time, ranked by a paleontologist, someone who studies dinosaurs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can take them down one by we'll one. We'll start. I, I don't know if there's 12, but we'll start at 11. Maybe I'll <laughs> throw in my own dinosaur. How do you feel about an iguanodon? That sounds like a giant pussy version of an iguana. Uh huh. So uh, why is that? First off, why is that a dinosaur? Is an iguana a dinosaur? It had really big thumb spikes, like a knife. That oh my it god! Used to defend itself against carnivores. I'm pretty sure what I would do is get on a diving board and then jump on it and then scissor kick it right in the back of the anus. <laughs> and that sounds like a pretty powerful move. Yeah. I think it was about nine feet tall and 30 feet long. Do you think your scissor kick could take it out? I got like three foot legs. I think I can handle it. <laughs> it is an yeah, herbivore. Like little baby chicken legs. So maybe an herbivore. I drink a lot of milk, so they're strong bones. Uh -huh. Yeah. What about number 10? Oh my God, an Ankylosaurus? An Ankylosaurus. Holy shit, that's my spirit animal. You because I have the ankylosing spondylitis. Yes, you, have the, you are an Ankylosaurus I don't know yourself. if I can attack him in, in, in good faith, honestly. You would like, just be friends. We're kinship. I think we would go to a movie together, have some snacks, maybe get some pretzel bites. Uh, cheese or no cheese? Uh, first off, nacho cheese. I would think as an herbivore, he would not go for cheese. Uh, what do you mean? Isn't, isn't cheese herb, herbaceous? Oh, because it's, it's dairy with cows and shit. Yes. Uh, no, that's vegan, though. Okay. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I would, I would, in good, in good conscience, I could not attack my brethren of the Ankylosauruses. So, also an herbivore. Yeah. They were the heavy ones with armor, like a heavy tank. We'd become best friends. Ranking at number 10. Yeah, I would not fight him. We'd if the tail friends. was to whack you, you'd be gone. He would not whack me. I'd whack him off. <laughs> but not whack friendship. him. Uh-huh. Whack yeah. him in friendship. What's a, what's a little tug between friends? A sauropod. What do you think? What do That's you, weird. A sauropod is a, a brachiosaurus, a long neck type dinosaur. Like a Diplodocus or an Argentinosaurus. Sweet Jesus. The biggest animals to ever walk the earth. These animals could kill you just by stepping on them mm. or stepping near you. What would you do? I don't think that it would get anywhere near stepping on me, but first thing that comes to mind is butter. What I would do is take at least 12 gallons of butter, melt that shit down and lube up its neck, and then slide down it <laughs> until it gets uncomfortable and wants to leave. I'm not sure I'd kill it like that, but it would... It wouldn't want to continue aggressively attacking me because would I would just enjoy. I would what you slide up and down its neck like a slip and slide. Uh huh. It would be Dorney Park, and that uh, and it's the fun slide. Apparently, or, there's a book by a paleontologist, Anthony J. Barton, that says that the speed and weight of Diplodocus vomit falling from the height of the dinosaur's head would be enough to kill a dinosaur. So probably would kill you as well. Questionable, but. Sure. What about everybody's favorite, a triceratops? Three-horned friend. Oh, my God. Uh, well, I think you got to bring out some old-school moves, and that's probably karate chops right to the taint. <laughs> uh-huh. Because uh, how else are you going to karate chop? You don't do that to the neck or head or legs. You do it right to the groin. Uh, and if I've learned anything from Master Ken, I think it's stomp the groin. Stomp the groin. And instead of stomping, I will karate chop because the my eye of a triceratops would standing around ten feet tall. That does not seem like it makes sense. Considering that some of the other dinosaurs were nine feet tall. You're telling me that this the eye of this thing was ten feet tall? It seems a little sus. I am debating their measurements. Yeah. So you know you you know the blah. The measurement you don't need to debate is my penis size. 
Oh my gosh! What Very about tiny. a? <laughs> so that would wow. that would bring me to your why, friend, the Gigantosaurus. Why is that number seven? That seems like it would be higher on the list. You would think so, considering it's bigger than a Tyrannosaurus uh, Rex. Yeah, I'm standing around twelve feet tall with a length of forty-five feet. What would you do with those sharp incisors? Uh, if you know Pokemon, I think Diglett would come to mind for me because that that burrows inside, and what I would do is just literally try to hide inside of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I would cover myself in mud and leaves, obviously to camouflage. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And because it's got the tiny arms, it couldn't grab me, so I'd be a little fast, grab around the legs, climb up, and then insert myself like a baby child inside of its rectum. <laughs> And hibernate there until it realizes that it's not a hemorrhoid, or no, it is a hemorrhoid, and that it, it and I'm one of the Gigantosaurus, so I can live there, or have a little snack, jump out at night, you know, eat some berries, and, and climb on back in for warmth. All right, what about in Jurassic Park, the dinosaur that was able to defeat the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Spinosaurus? Doesn't. Number six is very controversial because it's a huge dinosaur, around fifty feet long, and lived near water. But it was ranked number sixth. I think aggressive sexual maneuvers are. I was thinking that you are naturally one of the world's greatest swimmers. I am. So it being around water is no advantage to to the dinosaur. Absolutely not. No, I am like Michael Phelps, but mixed with a whale and a shark at the same time. A killer whale. So I, I think, uh, much like Korea and their nuclear tsunamis, mm. what I would do is swim at such a veracity and speed while also shitting uh, to create uh, water quakes <laughs> that would drown my competition. So, so you just drown this thing. Absolutely, yeah, by shitting uh -huh. in the ocean. Because... <laughs> Uh -huh. With such force <laughs> With such to ferocity. create a 30 foot tsunami. Number five on this list, I think, is very it makes controversial. Makes no sense that a Tyrannosaurus Rex is higher than a gi Gigantosaurus Rex. Well, what I think they're saying is that because it's larger, it might be slower. You might be just too small of a snack for it to make the the effort. If you were, if it was a juvenile T-Rex, you'd probably be on the top of the list. But as a full-grown adult Tyrannosaurus Rex, probably not that interested in you. Although it's clearly interested in young Asian women. Wow, I didn't know it was that racist of a dinosaur. But it has it has very precise taste. <laughs> clearly, uh, the fangs are sharp, just like the the ninja throwing stars of the Asians. So that is kind of makes sense. I, I think I wouldn't really fight him. I would boopsie him until he submitted to my will hmm. and would become my sex slave. Fair enough. Yeah. We'll go to number four, Gigantoraptor. Oh, my God. This Why is there looking... a bigger version of a fucking raptor? Because it's a Gigantoraptor. It's a relatively lightweight weight dinosaur, but it would have speed and the right size, about eight feet tall to take care of humans, even though it doesn't seem like it has sharp teeth. What would you do? Uh, what I would would you do? I would call the Black Panthers to attack. And now, when I say Black Panthers, let me be very clear: not like Wakanda Forever Black Panthers, like the social justice group, the Black Panthers, <laughs> uh, because there is a lot of them, and they're quick and fast and scrawny, <laughs> and they would surround the Gigantoraptors. Wait, where you would be calling the social justice ones, or you would not? I be? would be. Oh, yeah. Okay, you would call the Black Social Justice Panthers. Okay. Yes. And then they would surround them in a herd mentality and then climb on them and beat them. Yeah, you can bleep it out later if you want. I cannot. <laughs> that is not a thing that can happen. Yep. It has a sharp bite, uh, a sharp beak that can bite you in half. It literally look like a mass of turkey with a really long neck. Gobble, gobble. So people might not think it's dangerous and they would be wrong. Mega Raptor. Seriously? You want to move on to the Mega Raptor? Seriously? There's a Gigantoraptor, a regular raptor, and a Mega Raptor. That's because Steven Spielberg ruined all raptors Jesus. for everyone. Because he was really using tiny raptors and made them big. This it's raptor would be many. much faster, much more dexterous than its relative, the T-Rex. Uh, yeah. It also has hands to grab you with, to claw and snatch you with. It would be like a dangerous cheetah. Okay. But I have heard... That amongst pen realists, pen relayists, you were amongst the mightiest. 
I, yeah, I, I think so. If you re scroll lower, I thought uh, you could sprint like a gazelle. One of its, you don't sprint from these mega raptors. What you do is you piss on them. <laughs> you drink lots of water. So if you're not hydrated, so ahead of time, you if you're not hydrated. hydrated, boy, are you in a bit of a pickle. Uh -huh. But if you are hydrated and this raptor comes on to you because it's so big, it's not expecting you to piss on it. <laughs> um, and I took the liberty to like, let's try this out. If I die, I die. Who cares? Uh -huh. um, so I pissed right in its mouth. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it liked it. It was turned on by it. Yeah, and so I was uncomfortable, and I asked to leave. And uh, the raptor yes. was satisfied sexually, so it let me. Uh -huh. And uh, that's that's how I win in a lot of cases. What about a Carnotaurus? I don't know what that is. It's number two, if you're not familiar. It's the one the T-Rex kills to save Chris Pratt in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's a theropod like the T-Rex, and it would look like a T-Rex, but it has extra horns. So it's extra horny. It's a little bit smaller than a T-Rex and much faster. It will be able to run you down and eat you like a small child. Uh, yeah, it, it seems small to not be that ferocious. I'm pretty sure you would you just not throw a small child at it? I obviously why would you sacrifice you would obviously sacrifice a child for your own safety. Mhm. Mm um but it's more practical than that. I have learned the art of kidney punching and this, this particular dinosaur has four kidneys. Uh you can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh-huh. And you punch it in all four kidneys in the in the sequence of Kidney two, kidney four, kidney one, kidney three. Uh huh. I think I named all four kidneys. Uh huh. And if you hit it in that exact order, it blows up <laughs> like Kid a nuclear bomb, just, it blows. but of uh, fecal matter uh -huh. because it is literally just full of shit. <laughs> it will just shit itself and yep. it'll be done. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. And then raptors. Number Seriously, four, raptors. regular raptors. It, well, more specifically, this, this list is bullshit. The Utah raptor. And the uh, Dionysus, Dionysus, Diocletes, uh -huh. like diabetes. This is probably humankind's worst nightmare. Adult raptors could take a human very easily. They would be very fast. Yeah. Just take them forcibly. Mm -hmm. They probably wouldn't give up on their pursuit. If you were run into a forest or a heavily overgrown area, T-Rex or something larger may stop pursuing you. Because it wouldn't want to trip over something, but the raptor. It would have the speed and agility to keep going and maybe even climb the trees after you. Oh, my what God. What would you do? See, here's the thing. When you're thinking something's going to take you forcibly, you're like, shit, I got to run away. No. Would you just give it COVID? You don't. No. COVID's not going to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, okay. um, fake news. So when you when you look at a raptor, you're like, oh shit, this is gonna forcibly take me. No, no, you're gonna forcibly take him. You rape <laughs> him to death. Oh my god. You hold him grape down. Grape him. To yep. Death. No, no, you don't grape him. You rape him. <laughs> oh, you can't say Seedless that on grapes, television. Fully seeded grapes. Uh -huh. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. You shove all the fruits right in that sphincter, <laughs> and you blow him up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You think god. he's gonna take you? No, you're taking him. He's gonna call you daddy by the end of this venture. Oh my god! Riding that raptor all the way to Win Dixie. Uh, all right, that's how I fight my raptors. <laughs> raptors don't fight me. <laughs> you fight. Yeah, them. Chris Pratt don't got shit. Yeah, I tra I train blue. Yeah, blue balls. <laughs> oh, you train them. Yeah, my balls aren't blue after I'm done with these raptors. They are drained. Little raisins. <laughs> all right, you feel me? Wow. Jurassic Park ain't got shit on Noob Noob. So y you have the most evolved of humans taking on. All of the dinosaurs. I think it was only 11, not 12. Maybe throw a pterodactyl in there. The only 12 is by inches. <laughs> Centimeters. There's Let's that and more. So if you like the... Con which dinosaur do you think Noob Noob would lose against? Let us know down below. Let us know if there's a dinosaur you would like to hear in great detail how Noob Noob would defeat it. Maybe a plesiosaur, maybe a mosasaurus. Sexually. You tell me. Maybe you can even guess at how he will defeat it. Down in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you because we love listening to you. And we also have an audio podcast. You can catch that for live. Just look for Our Reviews Will Kill You on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. On Rumble, it's ORKU and Instagram. I think it's ORK underscore you. It's something. It You'll is. find us. Doesn't matter. Either way, we love all y'all, but we are on to the next dinosaur. Uh -huh.